This LOS is calculate and interpret the weighted average cost of capital of a company. Cost of capital. The overall opportunity cost of the firm's capital is a weighted average of the opportunity costs of capital from debt, preferred equity, and common equity. A project should be undertaken only if the return on invested capital is greater than the opportunity cap, uh, cost of capital. So here we have the formula for the weighted average cost of capital. Okay. So it's the weight of the debt times one minus the tax rate plus the weight of the preferred equity times the cost of the preferred equity plus the weight of the common equity times the cost of the common equity. So here we can see the listings. WD is the proportion of debt that the company uses when it raises new funds. That's key, when it raises new funds. So it's the cost looking forward. Uh, RD is the before taxed marginal cost of debt. T is the company's marginal tax rate. WP is the proportion of preferred stock the company uses when it raises new funds. And RP is the marginal cost of preferred stock. WE, the proportion of equity that the company uses when it raises new funds. And RE is the marginal cost of equity. Now I just put this slide in as an FYI. Uh, there's different weighted average cost of capital, different styles for the formula in different CFA readings, okay? So this is the one that we're looking at in this reading, but I've seen in other readings, it's just presented, it's all calculating the exact same thing, but it's just being presented in different ways. And I just wanted to point that out to you. Uh, you know, in this example, they've got the market value of the debt divided by the market value of the debt plus equity, which is the total capital times the cost of the debt, uh, one minus the tax rate, market value of the equity over the market value debt plus equity, okay? And that formula is the exact same as what they're writing down here. It's just a different nomenclature. And again, that's exact same as down here, just a no different nomenclature, putting the brackets in different places. Sometimes it can be confusing for people studying the CFA for the first time, different readings, different presentations of formulas. So I just wanted to point that out. So we'll just do a quick practice question here to help our understanding. The company's data are furnished below. Cost of debt, 10%. Cost of equity, 16%. Debt to equity ratio, 50%. Tax rate, 30%. The weighted average cost of capital is closest to A, 11.5%, B, 13%, or C, 14%. This is a little bit tricky the first time students see it for the first time because they're giving you the debt to equity ratio at 50%, but they're not giving you the weight of the debt or the weight of the equity, you have to figure it out, okay? So it's in the text. Uh, this is just copy uh, paste from the text. It says, note that a simple way of transforming a debt to equity ratio, DE, into a weight, that is debt over debt plus equity, is to divide the debt uh, equity ratio by one plus the debt to equity, okay? So you can see down here, uh, how do I get the weight of the debt? I take the debt to equity ratio in the numerator, 50%, divided by one plus the debt to equity. That would be 1.5. And so we get a weight of debt, 0.33%. So I'll just bring up my calculator here to check. So we can see the uh, debt to equity ratio is 0.5. We're gonna divide by 1.5, one plus the debt to equity, and we get 0.3333, so that's our weight of our debt. So if we make that a negative, there's no preferred in this uh, case, it's just uh, debt plus equity. We hit plus one, and we're gonna have 0.667 uh, uh, for our, our cost of the equity, okay? Another way just to prove it is, look at they give you the debt to equity of 50%. So as I said, sometimes just put in some real numbers. Uh, 50 over 100 equals 50%. That would mean my debt is 50 and my equity is 100. Assets equals liabilities plus equity. 150 equals 50 plus 100. So what would my debt be? It would be 50 over 150, which is 0.3333. And the weight of my equity would be 100 over 150, which is 0.6667, okay? So this is just a, a quick thing to point out, is that when they give you the debt to equity ratio, it's just the debt to equity over one plus the debt to equity, that'll give you the weight of the debt, okay? So now that we've got our weights, we can calculate our weighted average cost of capital. And again, so for the debt, it's 33.3% times the cost of debt times one minus the tax rate plus the weight of the equity times the cost of the equity. And that gives us 13%. So B is correct.
So continuing with the cost of capital, just going to look at one uh, more example. Assume that XYZ Corporation has the following capital structure, 40% in debt, 10% preferred stock, 50% in equity. Of course, that's going to add up to 100%. XYZ wishes to maintain these proportions as it raises new funds. So that's the important thing to read in any question. If there's any changes to the capital structure, the weighted average cost of capital is based on the new capital structure. So it's always important to, uh, you know, that might be the historical, but what are they doing in the future? So in here it says they're going to maintain these proportions. So that's what we're going to use. And it's before tax cost of debt is 5%. It's cost of preferred is 8%. And the cost of equity is 10%. So, and the marginal tax rate is 40%. What is XYZ's weighted average cost of capital? So again, it's just a weighted average. So we start with the debt, 40% debt times the before tax cost times one minus the tax rate plus 10% on the preferred stock times the cost of the stock plus 50% on the equity times the cost of equity and we're going to get 7%. Okay, so the weighted average cost of capital should be fairly easy. As we saw, just the one little trick sometimes is they give you the debt to equity ratio and you need to then figure out the weight of the debt is the uh, debt to equity divided by one plus the debt to equity and that'll give you the weight of the debt, okay? And that's the last slide for this LOS, thank you.